When I think about strong water, I think about how water is able to cut through rocks. We would never believe that putting water on a rock would make any impact. But persistent water that comes again and again and again to the same rock would actually make dents in it. My name Ina means strong water in Greek. Strong water is when everybody perceives you like you're too weak to do something, and then you actually are able to make even a dent. Because even a dent against a rock is a big deal. My name is Ina Braverman, founder and CEO of EcoWave Power. I was handed very, maybe bad or different cards when I was born. I actually was born and two weeks after died. I was born in Ukraine in 1986. And two weeks after I was born, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster happened. I was one of the babies that got hurt from the negative effects of the explosion. My mother approached my crib and she looked down at me and she saw I was pale and blue and not breathing. She gave me a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation until the ambulance came and saved my life. The first four years of my life in the Ukraine, me and my sister were sick all the time. We had a lot of pollution-related conditions. My family decided to immigrate to Israel. We settled in a town called Akko. You're in a very small town. You feel like everything is impossible. You're too far from the action. You don't really have a lot of opportunities. You don't hear words like business, startups, renewable energy. Because I got a second chance in life, that really created a drive inside of me to do something special. That would really like change the world for the best. Since childhood, the ocean and the sea were kind of my place of relaxation. Every time I'm too like stressed, I go, I sit in front of the ocean and I just let myself drift away and think. I got very passionate about wave energy because it can produce twice the amount of electricity that the world produces now. Yet no company was able to make wave energy success. As soon as I started researching about wave energy, I thought like, wow, that's a field that could really, really change the world. Where did other companies fail? What didn't work there? I said to myself, okay, I don't have the money, I don't have the contacts, I don't have the technical background, I can make it happen. I established EcoWave Power when I was 24 years old. I definitely had less experience than other figures in the energy industry. But maybe sometimes when you're thinking outside the box, you see things that people that are really, really into it can miss. In wave energy, the strongest waves that you can get are in the offshore. So 99% of the developers of the companies went into the offshore because they went for the obvious they kind of miss another obvious, that the cost is important, that the environmental aspect is important, that the grid connection is important, because where are you delivering the electricity to? Instead of trying to connect something to something that doesn't exist in the middle of the ocean, we're connecting to existing man-made structure. We built our first grid-connected power station in Gibraltar. Now we're opening our second one here in Israel, in Jaffa port. The third one is coming in the port of Los Angeles, and then also in Portugal. We're definitely changing the world one wave at a time by showing to the world that wave energy is possible. And even more so that a female-led wave energy company is possible. When I opened my business at 24 years old, it seemed impossible. 95% of the executives in the energy industry are men. Only 5% in the world are women. And even when I chose to install our technology on breakwaters and piers as opposed to offshore, everybody said, if it's so different, it must be impossible. So you can be from a small town, you can be the only woman in the room and be surrounded with men telling you that you cannot do something and you can still make it happen.